Brussels flicks off ISIS. Muscat the cat comes home. March is officially the winner of the best month of the year. Today is casual Monday, April 4th, 2016. I'm Jake. And I'm Joe. Good morning, plant. Let's get tropical. The first passenger flight since the March 22nd terrorist attack by ISIS in Belgium left Brussels Airport Sunday morning without a hitch. Brussels Airport CEO Arnaud Feist said the three flights were a sign of hope that even partial passenger service could resume so soon following the darkest days in the history of aviation in Belgium. They hope to have full passenger service restored by June or July in time for the European summer tourist crowds. Screw you ISIS, Brussels is rambling on, so ultimately you failed. Another inspirational story involves a woman and her cat who were reunited last Thursday after six months. The cat, named Muscat, went missing during a wildfire in Northern California last year that destroyed nearly 2,000 structures and killed four people before it was contained in October. Nancy had been searching all this time and had given up hope of finding her feline friend when she noticed a cat by her house that looked a lot like her beloved kitty, and boom, the cat jumped in her arms, all the feels. Lastly, March Madness comes to an end tonight when UNC Tar Heels face off against the Enfuergo Villanova Wildcats, proving definitely that March is the best month of the year. First, it's Daylight Savings Month. Losing the hour sucks, but now your car clock is finally at the right time. Mm -hmm. March 1st is National Peanut Butter Lover's Day, March 10th is International Day of Awesomeness, and March 23rd is National Puppy Day. And if you don't like peanut butters, puppies, or awesomeness, just go live in Russia with Putin, because we don't want you. <laughs> St. <laughs> Patrick's Day is one of the most delightful holidays. Leprechauns? Come on, they're magical. March is Women's History Month, and I love women, so there's that. <laughs> I love women also. <laughs> and there's the NCAA Basketball Tournament, which actually ends in April, but it's named March, so it counts. The Battle Royale versus UNC vs. Nova will air on TBS tonight at 9. It's looking to be a good game, faux show. It's time to take it to Michael Murphy for our Motivational Monday segment. Michael? Please stand for the pledge. Don't stand for the pledge. Work, 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 work. He said me hoppy. Work, 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 work. You see me do my dirt, 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 dirt. So me put in work, 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 work. So put in work, guys. Back to you guys. I feel so Thank you, Rian. I mean, Michael. I feel so confident right now and ready to take on the world. I'm also ready for these school announcements. <laughs> Today's lunch menu is amazing because it's the April South of the Border Fiesta Bar. <laughs> Chicken Verde Burrito, seasoned black beans, and crispy garden salad. And today's lean and green menu offering is a black bean and rice burrito. I'm throwing away my mom's TBs and J's and he headed south of the border to our cafeteria. I caram. <laughs> also in the Fiesta Bar is the beef and cheese taquito, soft taco oh. or cheese quesadilla. Mm. Top it off with a flavor bar of the day. Taco, get the dia. And they have added eliminated an ice cream for purchase. En Enrique, I ice cream? Elado. Elado. <laughs> In club news, service club applications have been extended till Wednesday. So get your butt to the main office and get involved if you're not already. It's proven to make you a better student and better person overall. Sir Toma, all applications are due to Landers by April 6th. On the best buddies tip, you gotta save the date for the friendship walk at Code Cotton Choby Park on April 16th. Ask Hillsborough County Teacher of the Year, Miss Radigan, or best buddies guru, Miss Medina, for deets. Most of the PHS clubs participated in Relay for Life this past Friday and made a strong showing at the Robinson Track to raise money and have fun. <laughs> we have to save the water tower. The city of Tampa is planning to paint our water tower, and if we want to keep it, we need a jaw-dropping design. If you've got ideas or the skills, see Mrs. Gepper today. All designs must be submitted no later than Thursday, April 7th, and the winner will receive $100 and a place in PHS history.
Shouts out and congrats to the following PHS students. Junior prom king and queen, TV2 superstar Paxton Rhodes, and Lexi Atlas. And Javon, the, the mad, mad dog, dog. Hodges, <laughs> was crowned king, and Carson Collins, the queen of this year's Pantherilla. <laughs> Hashtag ballin'. Youth in government went to Tallahassee to participate in the youth and house and senate for the state of Florida last week. Elizabeth Donnie passed a bill, and Riley Moran did a B.A. filibuster. Donnie and Moran, 2016, I think so. Emmy Schatzberg and Raylan Hoskinson were named Merit Award winner for their works of art in the Florida State PTA Reflections Competition, and sophomore Anthony Centrone from TV1 was given the Excellence Award and will advance to the national competition. The future for bright, the future for TV looks bright. Congrats to both girls and boys tennis teams as they both were champs and runner-up. Both teams will go to the playoffs this week. And lastly, congrats to basketball superstar Chad Singletary for being named to the all-academic team. Well-deserved to our Panther champions. Believe, believe. <laughs> Sports today, flag football at home versus Robinson. You want to be there? You want to be loud? It's time to show our girls that we care. That's all she wrote, Plant. We hope you have a beautiful Monday and an even more beautiful week. <laughs> Only 34 more days in the halls of PHS, then we outie, <laughs> class of 2016. Don't forget to buy your Grad Bash ticks, or the Grad Bash bear will get you. That's right. <laughs> Much love. <laughs> Almost heaven, West Virginia.